5 seconds to go. Start. Learned counsel for the accused respondent has relied upon the decision of this court to contend that elaborate reasons need not be assigned for the grant of bail. What is of essence is that the record of the case ought to have been perused by the court granting bail. The facts of the said case are that a complaint was lodged against 15 persons for offences under sections 148, 120b, 302, Redwich section 149 of the Indian Penal Code 1860. The accused therein moved an application seeking bail before the principal sessions judge who after perusal of the case diary, statements of witnesses and other connected records released the accused on bail through an order which did not elaborately discuss the material on record. The High Court cancelled the bail bond on the ground that the principal sessions judge had not discussed the material on record in the order granting bail in an appeal preferred by the accused before this court the order granting bail was restored and the following observations were made as to the duty of the court to record reasons and discuss the material on record before granting bail having perused the law laid down by this court on the scope of the power to be exercised in the matter of cancellation of bails, it is necessary to examine whether the order passed by the sessions court granting bail is perverse and suffers from infirmities which has resulted in the miscarriage of justice. However, we are of the view that the said decision is not applicable to the facts of the instant case for the following reasons. Firstly, this court in the aforesaid decision restored the order granting bail to the accused on the ground that although no discussion was made by the sessions court as to the material on the court in the order granting bail, it was apparent in the order of the sessions court whereby bail was granted that the decision to grant bail was arrived at after perusal of the entire material on the court, while the material may not have been specifically referred to the order granting bail was indicative of the fact that it had been arrived at after thorough consideration thereof. However, in the instant case, no such indication can be observed in the impugned orders of the High Court which would be suggestive of the fact that the material on record was perused before deciding to grant bail. Secondly, the case referred to by the accused concerned an offence which was allegedly committed by 15 persons. The complainant therein had not specifically assigned roles to each of such 15 persons. It was thus found that the allegations being vague, no prima facie case could be made out justifying the grant of bail to the accused therein. However, in the instant case, only one accused has been named by the appellant informant and the role attributed to him is specific. Therefore, 
the facts of the case relied upon being significantly different from the one before us we find that the judgment relied upon by the learned counsel for the respondent accused would be of no assistance to his case though the aforesaid judgment was rendered in the context of a dismissal of a revision petition by a cryptic order by the national consumer disputes redressal commission reliance could be placed on the said judgment on the need to give reasons while deciding a matter the latin maxim cassente ratione legis cassette ipsa lex meaning reason is the soul of the law and when the reason of any particular law ceases so does the law itself is also opposite we have extracted the relevant portions of the impugned order above at the outset we observe that the extracted portions are the only portions forming part of the reasoning of the high court while granting bail as noted from the afore cited judgments it is not necessary for a court to give elaborate reasons while granting bail particularly when the case is at the initial stage and the allegations of the offences by the accused would not have been crystallized as such there cannot be elaborate details recorded to give an impression that the case is one that would result in a conviction or by contrast in an acquittal while passing an order on an application for grant of bail the high court has lost sight of the aforesaid material aspects of the case and has by a very cryptic and casual order dehors coherent reasoning granted bail to the accused we find that the high court was not right in allowing the application for bail filed by the respondent accused hence the impugned order dated 7th may 2020 it set aside the appeal is allowed the respondent accused is on bail his bail bond stands cancelled and he is directed to surrender before the concerned jail authorities within a period of 2 weeks from today stop